I just put steroids under my eyeball. Nice. What are you going to do with those? What do you mean, what am I going to do? Is your eyeball going to get jacked? No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Different steroid. Like, don't don't skip eye day, everyone. That's important. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> So, all right. Do you want a description of this helm? Helm, yeah. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So it's 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 normal head shaped at the top, rounded, except it has a a rectangular squared off crest in the middle. That's about an inch off the top of it. So there's a a. a a crest, and then uh, the front surface of the crest is flush with the rest of the helm. Oh. And it's got some uh, braid inlay along the sides of the crest, but the full sides and back of the helm are smooth, and it just looks like normal steel. The braids of it are gold-colored. Um, there are two normal eye-shaped eye sockets. Uh, there is a section that it juts goes out. goes down, like, over your face? Yes. It covers oh. the whole face, um, but it has ample eye sockets, and it has a mouth slit. So there's just a little slit at where the mouth would be. It has a, f a fake nose built into it that is squared off. Oh. And the bottom of the face of the helm has what looks like a beard on it. Okay. So it's got basically lines drawn from basically like where the... If you imagine a helm that only has the eye protection, like there are a lot of Greek helmets that look right. like this. Mm -hmm. Then from that point downward, imagine a plate that extends out and it has lines drawn on it to make it look like it's a beard. Mm. Like a dwarf would have. Yeah. So. I think yeah. Lokun describes it to you saying that he, he's giving you a, a, a strong dwarven beard um, just for, uh, for aesthetics and for uh, functionality. Um, f f fun functionality? Functionality, as in, if you get hit by a sword in the chin, it won't cut your jaw off. Oh, um. Yes, uh, sorry, I, I thought you were implying that a beard was functional in such a way. Oh, well, it is. Oh, well, yours maybe, but, uh, I don't imagine a normal person's beard would do that. Well, that's why they have a helmet. With a beard. <laughs> yes. Uh, anyway, it, it it looks lovely. It sure does. Just probably a little strange on me. Nope. Looks great. Perfect. Anyway. You were born to have a big, bushy beard. <laughs> he really wasn't. He's completely <laughs> bald on his head. Um... <laughs> He is glad, though, that it covers his face. Okay. That will make him look a little less orcish. Yeah. Oh. I think so. Yep. Okay. Super. Hey, you came up with a very detailed and cool description very quickly. Hey, you want to know how I did that? I typed Dwarven Full Helm and looked at Google Images. <laughs> Here you go. I'm going to do it. I'm going to look it up. I just put it straight up in the thing, but... You'll probably find it. I, right. I, I admit, I tried Googling several um, different helms and be like, which is the one that Jenna found? And so I just <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> found it. It looks good. Yeah, I think it looks fine. You, yeah, you gotta, you're a good dwarf now. Dwarvy. Let me see. Yep, that's the one. Yep. Okie dokie. Cool yeah. helmet. All right. Let's see. So, uh, you have had your tea. You have attuned immediately to your cool new items. 
Through and demigod it is magic. morning. What? Through demigod magic. Through demigod magic. Yeah. Yep. Um, and now you're free to go about your business as uh, uh, Lokun starts to sort of... Uh, oh, that's right. He, he gives you your shield back. And he sort of wipes some sweat off and says, Nope, totally remembered. It's totally good. And you're all set. Um, <clears throat> sorry to trouble you. It's probably working just fine now. <laughs> uh, uh huh. Um, how sober would you say you are right now? <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> he just moves on. <laughs> Look, he's just glad to have a metal shield back. <laughs> yeah. I think. What did we say last time? That it's uh. Uh, it was completely shattered, so I feel like all of your previous etchings and whatnot are not on there anymore. Yeah, I think so. I think that's I think what we so. said. So you're you're gonna have to start over from the from the get go, but you can always tell it about your battles as well. Right. And uh, if it's a lie, then that's the issue. Yeah, if you yeah. tell it about stories, it should still be fine. Right. That it actually happened. Yes. Okay. Um. So he. I'm sorry. Okay. Just thought. Just thought. Attuned to the shield right away. Uh no. Okay. Because that's not made with, uh, demigod magic. It was just reassembled. Was that something I needed no. to attune to? I think so. Because I don't remember. You did. Having yeah, heard I think about so. That. Okay. I think so. What about the Phantom Fist, then? Uh, good question. Because if you're going to restrict up, me, huh? then... I mean, I gotta restrict you. Well, you shouldn't. No, I should. Let me see. Where are all those magic items? I am are? I am the conduit of a god. You can't restrict me. <laughs> with I, I, for as far oh, as magic things okay, go. Okay, so... Apparently, the shield is not attunement. The phantom fist is attunement. Okay, well, that's fine then. How about the, the silver flame? Are you going to say I have to attune to that? Uh, you should say no, because I am the chosen champion of the god, yeah, the silver the question, flame. Isn't it? it so. should be attunement. Because it's in sync with you. Are you, like, using it, though? It's true. I'm not I mean, using you, it right now, but we're, yeah. while we're on the subject, we may as well discuss this. Because you can kind of like pick and choose what you're attuned to. Yeah. Um. Let's see, so that's the shield is not the phantom fist is your helmet is, and I'd say that. I I would suggest that the sword probably is attunement. The horse sword. Because it's a god sword. <laughs> no, not the horse sword, the god sword. Yeah, the oh. god sword. Because um, what, I mean, realistically, mechanically, what attunement does is it limits you from becoming too wildly overpowered. Exactly. And um, your god sword is quite powerful because it's a all god right. sword. Okay. So I, I think it's got to be attunement. All right, all right. Well, I'm maxed out then now. Yeah, you are. But That's I think thing. I shouldn't have to spend a long rest attuning to the sword because I am. I think know. in canon you did not. And in yeah, I didn't. As yeah. soon as I picked it up, okay. I used well, it. So yeah. But for the purposes I, I think of limiting me, you you are attuned to it, but it does not. I it is an instant process for yeah, you. Yeah, we'll say that. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Um, looking at the other list of things, Lena, your beans of blunder, that's also attunement. Mm -hmm. Oh, crud. Ah, crud. Um, Ring of the Grammarian? Is attunement. Oh, no. Yeah, you Scuttle get buddy? items. Scuttle buddy is not attunement. Okay, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think a movable rod is either. No, it is not. I mean, it okay. can't be because we've we've used it. Yeah, know. multiple people have used it. Yeah. yeah. No, it's just a button. A cool magic button. All right. Uh, so, hey. 
Oh, hey. Um, Oladon scales. Oh, that's attunement for sure. Oh, fuck. oh, it does say attunement. Um, I mean, I've... Do I have them in my inventory? I thought Nethmir had them. Oh, that's right. Nethmir wanted to do something, right? Or was it thought that I wanted to do something with them? Not me, I don't think. Um, I'll tell you what you talked about with, um... Uh, Alexander, Alexander last night was that you will need them to get into the tower through the front door if right. that's how you want to do it. Yeah, because we have to use it to lift the door by changing its gravity. And yeah, and he also suggests that you won't be able to just pop through the hole in the wall because yeah. the wall is just sort of aesthetic only, mm -hmm. that the walls are actually a magical field. So just keeping that in mind, because these are two important bits that you should remember. Mm -hmm. So who has the scale? You I have. Me? I took it out of my inventory a while ago because I thought someone else had it. It's not in the bag of holding either, so it must be in someone's inventory. Uh, um. Then I guess that means Nefmir has it, because nobody else would. I wouldn't hold it. I think so. But for sure, what we should do is say who can use it, who's not maxed out on yeah, items you attune so. to. So. Yeah, I've got, I've just got the two right now. Then probably I guess I could. you. Yeah. So hang on um, to that scale. If, if I'm yeah, gonna, yeah. Like, if I'm going to step out of the DM roll and get a little bit meta with you. Oh, shit. Um, uh, warlocks have, you know, spell slot issues, so magical items are useful. Hot. Right? Sure. Hot. Okay. Gives you something to do aside from uh, uh, Eldritch Blasting Eldritch in battle. Blast. Yeah. That's extremely fair. Um, this is also to... I mean, I'm, also, I'm saying this to, in part make up for my personal lack of creativity but i do see this but i genuinely do see this scale as like a team item so if anybody has a cool idea for that even if i'm just holding it like yeah basically lob me a suggestion yeah and i'll do that on my turn if that makes sense sounds good okay um lokun's forge building disappears <laughs> and uh, he starts packing up his stuff. He says, well, you know, that, uh, uh, what did I say it was? Uh, I've lost it. What's it called? Oh, that, uh, that Kraken in the north ain't gonna kill itself, so I, I think I'll be off. Uh, well, uh, good luck to you, uh, fighting that. Uh... And you as well. You and your, uh, epic journey. We'll certainly need it. Well, maybe. But now you've got uh, lots of good help. You got some uh, some good ass magical weapons, if I do say so myself. Uh, you've had I... experience fighting two demigods now, so that's quite nice. I think that's going to help you out. <laughs> yes, uh, thank you so much for You're all of your very aid. Welcome. Very, very welcome. It's been nice meeting you. I hope we can see you again. Who knows? Maybe we will. I tend to run into people that I, you know, the same crowd sort of circulates the, uh, uh, you know, epic battle situations, you know. We'll probably run into each other again. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I thought Whitmore was going to say something, but it seemed, it's because it seemed like Mitch was going to say something. <laughs> I was, I'm just, Whitmore is still just like confused by this being. Yeah, he just met him, so. Yeah, well, so yeah. did you. No, we met him a lot sooner than Whitmore did. Um, Time wise. Time wise, no, but conversation wise, massively. <laughs> yes. 
Just saying, as far as it, it's been like 24 hours since you met this guy. A lot has happened. Yeah. yeah. Not even 24 hours. <laughs> no, it was it was 24 hours, pretty sure. Something like that. It was dark when you found the temple. Or it's getting dark. Okay, well, it has not even been again, months. our familiarity with him is so much higher than Mitch's. Has spanned months. <laughs> this is indisputable. Yes, this is fine. All right, well, uh, good luck with your heist. Um, good luck with your uh, lich creature. Um, hope you don't have to actually fight... Um, a god anytime soon because that's a whole different that's a whole different thing let me tell you right off the bat trust me uh Lokun, may I ask one question before we part and thank Shoot. you for everything regardless of the outcome of our situation is that really going to have much bearing on the world as you see it I'm just curious Hit me. Oh, you mean like your your epic quest that you're doing? Yeah, you're, like, you're if, we succeed, to... if we fail, like mm -hmm. how much will that conceivably affect you from how you can see it? Well, the way I see it, um, I don't like that there is a god of death that is kind of sticking his fingers into stuff. Um, that feels pretty bad. Um, generally when gods get involved it's bad and the fact that it's a god of death getting involved makes me feel like some butterflies in my tumbly um <laughs> i'm gonna i'm gonna put it out there that i think that this might be a world ender um hard to say well, so don't don't fail <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I might be okay. To say. <laughs> it depends on on how it goes, how the world ends, or whatever. I might be okay. Um, so you know, don't worry about me. But I would worry about most people. I appreciate in your insights. Thank you very you, much. You bet. If you see the lich, can you just kill him? Um. Yeah. Cool. But don't die trying. Oh, I don't plan to. Cool. Yeah, you bet. <sighs> Dying is bad, so... Well, it's not inherently bad, it's just sort of like a... In your case, right now, dying is bad. Because that means more people die, probably, if you die. So we'll keep it, keep it light, keep it breezy. Um, you're fine. Don't worry about it. Thought is not fine, and he is very much worrying about it. Lena's becoming visibly nervous as well. <laughs> yeah, like... Did we, did we not go over this? Like, this is, this is what you're doing. This is a... You're fighting. <clears throat> you're, you're oh, in the oh, big leagues. Okay. We're talking about this. Uh, so, Lokun, um, you know, this is kind of like the, uh... The point where you told us that these magical items probably work and that you, you know, depends on how drunk you are and all that. We didn't need to know that. Uh, we also don't need to say aloud the importance of this mission. Um, oh, we did because Nefmir asked. Nefmir did ask me, so. Well, I guess. I mean, let's, let's put it this way. If if Nefmir asked me, is this very important that we succeed, and I just clammed up and walked away, would you feel better? No. A little no, bit. No, not so much, probably. I, I I'm being straight with you here. I feel worse. That's... Oh. Uh. <laughs> Look, like it or not, you're already in the big leagues, and you've been successful so far, right? And you're getting stronger, right? I see no reason why you cannot do what you're here to do. I'm not concerned. I trust you implicitly. If I thought that this was a world ender that was not being taken care of, I would feel personally 
like I needed to do something about it, but I'm not getting that vibe right now, so I'm gonna go do something else. All right, all right. And to be fair, a Kraken is kind of... It has the, the, uh... Uh, what? The ability to become... It, there's a possibility of Kraken becoming kind of a world-ender, um, depending on what it gets up to over there. So, uh... I got important stuff to do, too. Yes, yes. But you'll be fine. Could I sign up for? <laughs> Glory, my friend. Glory. And possibly death. But, you know, it's gonna come one, one day or another. <laughs> Not to me, though. Jeez, rub it in, why don't you? Yep. I didn't say well. that. <laughs> that wasn't in character. Well, okay, thanks. so. It's given us much to think about, and I hope we see you again. Like I said, we probably will. Um, as long as you guys continue doing your, your hero stuff, and I keep doing my my uh, demigod killing stuff, There's it's a small world. I'll say it. I'll put it that way. It's a small world. So, good luck. Have fun. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Um, and I wouldn't die. So, <laughs> you know that. Anyway, take care. Bye. And he turns around and heads off. Yeah, farewell. He just kind of waves over his shoulder and starts heading north. Uh huh. And you are now standing uh, by an extinguished campfire in the forest. It's a beautiful day. Well, one thing at a time, right? Suppose. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. There will be plenty I'll do that he wouldn't. I'm sure. Uh, so, what's first on the docket, then? Well, we were told to go to the... what? The dock. Mansplitter. The mansplitter. <laughs> mansplitter. Uh, yes. So, we better get over there. Yep. Pack Sounds up the good. camp. Pack up the camp and head out? Yes. Okay. Beep. Beep. So, let's see. Blech. You guys are pretty close. Oops. I When I was deleting stuff last night, I believe I deleted the marker for where you are on the map. I ran out of space up for my free Roll20 account. At the map. Oh, I had shit. to delete it. That's not good. It's at the map. At the map. At the map. Um, yeah, mistake. So what we're gonna do is ready for. Oh, where are we going? Come back. There we go. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how about no? Is that a hook horror? It is. Yeah, no. Yeah. No, thank you. So you guys you guys are over here. Yes, I don't know who drew. Um, I, I did oh, that. Achuta Goral did it. Isn't that kind of what so we yes. need to do? Yes, that's yeah. exactly what you need to do. I mean, you can take the road if you'd like and then just go around the walls. Or if you want to swing around uh, far away from the whole situation, then you're free to do that as I well. I was just trying not to draw over the star. That's sure. all. That's all I was doing. So... Uh, the implication was that the uh, dock you need to go to is somewhere down in that area. Yeah. We can so take how are you going to get there? I don't, you, I don't you, care. I was going to say, you take, I mean, there is a road that goes around the outside of the walls as well. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Because we can't go into the city until we get to the dock, so. I prefer not to get too close to it in case Silver Flame are patrolling. I mean, they might be, but they're going to see us at some point, so... 
Yeah, do we know if the docks are actually within the city limits or is there some like overlap? Is it on the edge? It's obviously Why outside because we there's there shouldn't be a checkpoint there, right? I was going to say, uh, why don't you, uh, we'll roll to see if you know, but actually uh, Whitmore would know for sure, That's and he also, could let yeah. you know. The deal here is that um, the docks you're going to are uh, outside, they are technically part of the city, but uh, they put up the walls at some point, and then everything that was left outside of the walls just sort of, like, fell apart. Like, every, you know, all the big businesses moved inside the walls, so the docks that are left outside the walls, they're still part of Crossroad, but they have a very different energy to them. They're much more uh, dilapidated and run down, because the only people left in those areas are the ones that can't afford to move inside the walls. But he also knows that uh, situations like that make it a very good place to smuggle from. Yeah. Yeah, this only sounds good to me. Well, not that not that he's a smuggler himself, but he knows these things. Oh, I approve. Uh, smuggling? It's a little beneath me. Of course. <laughs> didn't, definitely didn't make any easy money off smuggling. No. <laughs> uh, so, uh, we're gonna go to this place, just outside the wall, I assume uh -huh. with our contact there. Uh, Whitmore also knows of Helga Mansplitter, just that she has a reputation. For splitting uh, men. For being, yeah, for being rough and tumble, basically, and, uh, he knows that she works with Beaumont, uh, in his smuggling operations, um, but that's all that he knows about this. Yeah. I'm, curious, um, <laughs> I, I'm curious. I'm uh, curious. Do do Helga's clients uh, pay for Helga to split them or others? <laughs> Um, well, I, I don't think that's what's me, so going on. But uh, I'll just leave it at that, I suppose. <laughs> Whitmore knows that it, it fully depends on which rumors that you apply to. <laughs> okay, who objects Perhaps to taking the road? Uh, Shrouded takes a, takes advantage of the the different rumors. Let's your mind just kind of go wherever, wherever. That's say she doesn't clarify. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, shall we? Are we doing road or not road? Maybe I personally would prefer road. not road. I don't want to meet yeah. many people. It would probably be safest to do not road. Okay, let's do not road then. Okay. Don't want to encounter any silver flame. Hmm. Before uh, we do. Um. Uh, so you head off the road, and uh, how are you? Are you staying close enough to the road to follow it generally, or are you staying like way out of sight of the road? I assume Whitmore knows exactly where he's going, so we could be outside like way outside i wouldn't say that in particular um whitmore has had no reason to avoid the roads mm. yeah that's true i mean i've personally navigated the city with the silver flame around just fine but i don't have this reputation that the, the party has exactly so he has had no reason to avoid the roads in the past I don't know why he would particularly know the off-road areas here very well. I guess, like, e I guess even if we went off-road, I just kind of assumed his sense of direction would be good enough to kind of get us where we need to go. Well, if you'd like to find out, then Whitmore can roll uh, a survival check. Um, 
Well, uh, Lena, I know, I know people very well. I'm a, a, a man of the streets, but, um, let's say, uh, I prefer to be in town, if that means anything to you. Oh, because you're a man of the streets. When you leave the streets, you become uncomfortable. Uh, perhaps a little uncomfortable. Perhaps I'm, uh, you know, it's hard to know the intent of, like, a, a pack of wolves other than they're hungry. Um, but, you know, uh, prefer not to test it. Well, then staying within the, staying near the road, but not on the road might be best then? Maybe we just stay a hundred feet off the road. What about Lily? How's her non-road navigation? Her non-road navigation? Yeah. Um, she knows the area decently well. Um, she's gone hunting around here before. Um... Are you asking her if she can get you to this dock? Yes. Oh, yeah. No problem. Then fuck it. Yo, let's go hardcore forest mode. All right. So not in not in view of the road at all? No. Yeah, fuck the road. <laughs> okay. Fuck the road. What if Lily says, what if I said fuck the road? <laughs> Does she say that? Yeah. Um, she says, what if I said, fuck the road, and... Oh. <laughs> okay. Um... So, uh, she says, like, yeah, no problem whatsoever. And she just uh, starts heading off in a direction. And uh, you follow. I thought right? believes her, so... Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's okay. not good. Lena, why didn't right. you roll survival? Isn't it pretty good? Me? Yeah. I've never been here. Uh, all right. Technically, so, you have. You've right. been to Crossroads to, before. I've been to, but not the dock specifically. It doesn't matter because you have a high survival, don't you? Is my survival high? I thought it was. Oh, yeah. Because of your background. It is. It's, yeah. <laughs> See? Uh, it's four. It's the same as Lily. Okay. Well. Then never mind. It's fine. Well, All right. We're um, in it, I guess. Yep. Uh, so she heads um, away from the road, and she starts making her way through the forest. And uh, your trip is uneventful. Um, it's a beautiful day, and you're you know, still fairly near the road. There's not much in the way of dangerous uh, creatures near like very nearby anyway uh now that you've handled that uh big scary uh vine monster or whatever that was um and an hour passes and she's just kind of vibing uh leading away and uh two hours pass and she's still just kind of cruising and Three hours pass, and four hours pass, and five hours pass, and so, Whitmore. As we're, so as we're sorry, like as we're uh, traveling, I did want to like ask thought something. Oh, go for it. I was like, um, so thought of Athrazar, right? That's the last part of your of your name. Um, yes. Uh, is Athrazar far from here? Oh, yes. Uh, it's on, uh, it's on the main land, of course. Oh. Yes, course. I'm, I'm not from this island. Hey, I guess I'm just trying to connect some dots about maybe like the silver flame and where they've come from and why they're here. Uh, is there any silver flame presence out 
in Athrazar? Oh, absolutely. Uh, that is uh, where my uh, where my priest is and the temple. So, uh, yes, it, it's uh, it's a, a fairly large city, um, or at least it's it's near to other civilized areas. It, it's not out in the wilderness like most of this uh, most of this small island is. All the all the main cities are spread afar. Uh, <laughs> spread far apart. Yeah. So, uh, but it, it's a it's a typical city, and it has a silver flame temple with a fairly large patronage. So, so, uh, so yes. Are you feeling about uh, potentially being in combat with these so-called? Silver Flame followers. Um, not great, obviously, but um, well, we have to do it, and they're not exactly in the right as as far as uh, following the actual will of the flame. I don't mean to be pretentious, but I—I I mean, I'm pretty sure it has spoken to me. So, and I'm able to wield the sword without being horribly burned, so that sort of means we're in agreement. So, uh, it's unfortunate to have to oppose them, and I'd obviously prefer not to have to kill anyone unless I have to. So, <sighs> it is this regrettable. Is the... Oh. This is me to the dungeon master. Like, what's What's, what's our, like, does, do people in the world kind of, like, a general knowledge of what, like, the Silver Flame as, like, a, as a deity? Yeah, well, uh, yeah, as a deity, uh, oh, we've, we explained what, uh, what the Sol is when you weren't there, but yeah, there's a, it's a general knowledge as you would have any other, uh, fairly popular <laughs> deity. Sure. <laughs> um, or did we? Did we talk about this? I know that uh, Jenna knows specifically from all of the visions and whatnot, but have we discussed the history of the Silver Flame? Kim, Ben? I, I want to say I, I think, think... Maybe touched on a couple of details here and there, but I can't really yeah. remember anything. Yeah. I mean, so you guys would know in any case the, the general knowledge of the Silver Flame is that it is the, uh, the essence of... Uh, Many, many dragons, actually. Um, the, 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 the widely known history was that there was a, uh, a demon lord, I believe, that, yeah, uh, yeah a, a demon lord that came to the, the material plane and was, uh, fucking stuff up, and he was basically a gigantic flame himself. Uh, and the, the reason why you don't see many dragons right now is that the dragons actually uh, largely sacrificed themselves uh, to help defeat this demon lord with the help of a woman named Tira Miron. Yeah. Mm. Uh, the, so the, the general idea is that the, the dragons sacrificed themselves and that their, their life, their magical dragon life essence... Uh, empowered her sword, which she used to uh, stab through the demon lord, and it all merged into one gigantic silver flame, and this h huge magical essence basically could not be destroyed and became basically a new god. Yeah. Um, and it's like the collective consciousness of this uh, this woman who died doing that, and all of those dragons, and that's the that's the the basic story that everyone knows. But I don't want to kill anyone either. It's not really what I like doing. 
Yes, yeah, of you're course. Right about the silver flame. I hope you know what you're doing. Uh, well, yes, I hope I do as well. We'll, uh, we'll see what happens. Maybe we can get around more of them. Then, basically, only fight when we necessarily have to. Be nice. I am skeptical of this happening, but of course I hope for it. But whatever we have to do is what we will do. So, yeah. It's not ideal, but I... It is the will of my god, after all. Odds in our favor. I kind of like give him a be like a stronger than average pat on the back. Mm. Uh, kind of <laughs> saunter ahead. Yes. And as this uh, um, also conversation, Dan, sort of, oh yes. By the way, I'm gonna say after two hours, that is gonna question where we are <laughs> okay because i th uh i'm i don't actually know this but i'm assuming he would know that it's probably not going to take more than two hours to get to this dock from where we were um let's see it might take a little bit longer because you're taking the long way around okay then you, maybe... were, you weren't like immediately outside the city yeah, I guess that's right. Then maybe at like three hours, he's gonna bring this up. Sure. Okay. Um. So let's say that that conversation sort of peters out there, and uh, you take a fresh look around. Um. Why don't you make a perception check? Oh no! Do I have to do that at disadvantage? Why would you have to do that at disadvantage? Because I have one eye. Oh yeah. Or is yeah, this yeah. not that kind of perception? This doesn't seem like that kind of perception to me. It, uh, I'm just curious for, for, for my situation. Why don't you, uh, yeah, it's a visual perception check. Do a disadvantage. <sighs> you suck. Little dingus. Uh, where is this? This looks different. <laughs> what? <laughs> where is this? This looks different. It oh, does. Wow, look at that. It does look different. Yeah, they they revamped some stuff. Like some fonts are different. Kind yeah, of. it looks nice, but it is gonna be a little bit harder for me to find everything now. Oh, are you in dark mode? Yeah, I'm in dark mode. Yeah, dark mode changes everything, man. Dark mode is gonna be really good for the videos, though. Yeah, it looks nice. Yeah, but it also changes a lot of stuff. Yeah. Well, it's anyway, uh, yeah. So you take a look around. And you think. Like, we should be getting there pretty soon, huh? Uh -huh. And you look up and, like, something starts to slowly dawn on you. And it is that, based on the sun's position in the sky and what time you think it probably is, you think you probably should have started going south by now. And you haven't. You think that you're still moving west. Um, <clears throat> Lily, are you... Sure, this is the... This is the way? Hmm? The way to where? To the... To the dock. Oh, I don't know. I don't know where the dock is. What? You... Uh, why are we following you, then? I... I don't know. You asked if I knew this area, and I knew that we were going west, and I said, yeah. Oh. Lily. I know how to not. I know. I know which way is west. Um, Lily, we asked if you knew where the dock was, and you said no problem. Oh, really? I don't remember that. I think I literally didn't ask her that exactly. So I yeah. think she's right here. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. You asked if she knew this area. Yeah. I think, and she said yeah. 
apparently she took it 100% literally and just went west. <laughs> you oh. said you wanted to go away from the city, so we're moving away from the city. And I know the dock is west, so we're going west. Well, and I thought not... I've been doing a pretty good job so far, because we haven't found uh, any roads, and we haven't found any, uh, you know, monsters. It wasn't strictly west, it was... Uh, anyways. Right, I just kind of thought that you guys would, uh, you know, chime in when we needed to start going south. Well, well I think now is a good time to start going south. Yes, we're going to have to do that. Yeah, okay. And she turns south and she starts going. Oh my god, we're gonna be late. Uh, yeah. So you begin moving south. And, uh, let's see. I have to do some math. Don't do math. I'm doing math now. No, it's bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, um, after about another two hours or so of walking south, uh, the road comes into view. Uh, she looks at everyone and goes, oh, road's here. There's a road. I say we just take oh, it, because we, we need to be able to get to this place, and it's clear that we're going to have difficulty navigating if we don't use it, so... Yeah, that's, that's my vote. Be smart. Okay, okay, you're just getting on the road. road? If no one objects to this idea, yes. Do I, do I recognize this road? Yeah, I mean, just based on y your general knowledge of, of the layout and whatnot, you know that it's the road west of Crossroad, and, uh, if you go east on the road, it will head toward the city. Uh, my disguise self spell only lasts an hour, so I'll cast it again before I get on the road. Um, you do have that. Uh... Oh, that's right, but that's just for your skin, though. You, yeah, you're yeah I still skin. have like no clothes. You still have like no clothes. Wait, all are right. you not wearing any clothes? She has her scraps on, but oh, it's shit, like all that's right. It's all torn up. Yeah, she's all torn up. Do you have no other things to wear? In my inventory, I do not have travel clothes, so. I mean, I can, uh, I, I think I offered last time, too. Like, you tell me if she would have a spare set of clothes in there. Yeah. I guess I don't have any additional clothing. I have a blanket. <laughs> I could give you a blanket like, if you want. I feel like she would, but either way, she'll use disguise self on herself because we're getting on the road. Like, right. she still wants to look different, so. How old are you again? Okay. Now I am <laughs> real mentally, age or mentally or physical age. How old mentally? are you mentally? Because your body has physically 22. aged. What was it? Three years less. Yeah. Yeah. So you your your body is nineteen, mm -hmm. but you were twenty two at the time. Okay. Yep. Ugh. This happens again. We're getting close to another anime trope. Yeah, we're already <laughs> kind of, we're already pretty close to it. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> well, anyway, it's fine. We can't see you naked because you disguised self again. Yep. All right. Uh, so you guys are just getting on the road itself, and you are following the road. I would like to do that. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. Yeah. Are you doing anything special while you're on the road, or are you just vibing? I'm keeping uh, an I'll, eye out for, like, yeah. people. <laughs> for people? What kind of people? Hey. What kind so, of people? Silver flame people? Any people? You just want to know where people are? Any people? I mean, yes, any people, but specifically silver flame. Okay. So you guys, anyone who's looking can roll perception checks to see uh, people. <laughs> Go see people. Oh my god. Holy moly. Go see people? Welcome yeah. to Rogues. Yeah. Wow. Oh, nice. And Thought is just vibing. 
I'm trying to just be as inconspicuous as possible. <laughs> so I'm trying to walk uh -oh. normally. Just just look mm. like a regular guy. He's just some guy. Yeah, he's trying so uh -oh. hard to just be some guy. Let's see. <laughs> okay. And... Yeah, so you see... Especially as you start to get closer to the city, you see a few people out on the roads, um, mostly uh, merchant carts are coming and going, because it's still quite early in the morning. I mean, you've been walking for a while, so it's not super early in the morning anyway, but like you woke up with the sun, so it's not like it's you know noon or anything. It's still morning. Um, so mostly... The people who are out and about already are um, uh, merchants that are beginning a long trek somewhere, uh, heading west uh, toward Nouval. Uh, incidentally, where uh, your Dargan friend told you he was camping out. Just to refresh your memory there. <clears throat> Ow. Wait, 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 what? Oh, bah, 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 bah. He, uh, Ale Gilder told us where he was camping? I thought he specifically told us, did not tell us where, because it was safer to not have us know. Yeah. I think at some point he told you. He I... he sent a message to let you know where he was. Um. I thought this he gave us, like, a general idea that he was, like, beyond the mountains or something. Or maybe that he'd gone yeah, to, know. like, Nuval or something, but I don't think he... That's that's what I just said. Oh. He went to Nuval. Okay. I thought you were... All right, never mind. I thought you were talking, like, you're getting close to the area where he's camping out. No, no, no. I said uh, I said the uh, the merchants are heading west toward Nuval, oh, okay. where, incidentally, A.O. Right. Gilder said he was camping out. Yes, and yes, he yes, didn't yes, say yes. he was camping either. He just said that he was over there. Yeah. 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 Okay. No, he is not in this area right. with you. He should not be. <laughs> he should not be, and he is not. He cool. is aware of this. Very cool. Um, so anyway, um, as you start to get a little bit closer to the city, uh, Nefmir and Whitmore, uh, you both see some uh, sunlight gleaming off of some uh, uh, metallic armor down the road and uh you both rolled extremely high so if you narrow your eyes and sort of try to see what's coming you both recognize the emblem of the silver flame uh on the breastplates of these dudes it looks like um three people in silver flame armor are coming toward you they are still a ways off Hey, thought. Uh, I think we got some of your boys coming. We should probably get out of here. What do you think? Um. Well, I suppose what are the odds that they would recognize us? Well, considering we were told that they're kind of on high alert for us, probably extremely likely. <sighs> yeah. Let's take. 20 minutes I'd let them pass yes all right so what's the move we do that thing wait, wait. where we do go you go off the road 100 feet off the road um, away ways I'm gonna investigate for potential cover in the uh, local topography sure yeah is there a big chunks Balboa nearby actually is that like is that perception that's no, more perception isn't it um yeah, you can just do perception again. Okay. Um, you look around and uh, you're actually starting to get close enough to crossroads that there are a few um, very dilapidated buildings that seem to be... Uh, I mean, maybe some people are, are living in a few of them still, but some are clearly uh, no longer in use. So let's get in one. Mm. Usable. 
Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm in favor. Are you looking for one further away from the road? Or just right on the road? Further away. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you bail off the road, and you uh, move through some places. Uh, you peek in some windows, and you see uh, one place has a very thick coating of dust inside. Can you remind me, Dan, how a scuttle buddy works? <laughs> scuttle buddy. Um, scuttle buddy is a mechanical beetle that can be wound up and used as a scout, spy, or conversational partner, though he won't have anything interesting to say. Um, so one time per day, one charge per day, uh, you can have it, you can activate it and have it poop out a little earpiece that you can put in your ear. Uh, and then you can send it somewhere and it basically acts as a spy radio. Yeah. A little microphone. Um, as we depart the road, um, I'm going to basically find like a stone to hide the scuttle buddy under. Okay. And I will, I will activate it and put the earpiece in my ear and, and I'll leave it there as we go to uh, whatever house we're going to hide in. Okay. Sounds good. Um, I am not prepared for this. Let me see what they're talking about. I hope it's beans. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, one option is beans. <laughs> Hold on. Do you have the beans at the inn last night? Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> see, all right, I, I'm having trouble concentrating. Hold on a second. So, one option is beans. Okay. Okay. Uh, as they be, so you guys are hiding in that little hut, um, and uh. Whitmore, you begin to hear uh, voices as they approach, but it's very hard to discern. And as they get closer, uh, the first thing you hear is, and she dumped the beans everywhere. They were good. They were perfectly good. I don't I don't know what her fucking problem is, man. And someone else sh chimes in and says, hose, right? <sighs> With the silver flame and talk like that. I don't know. I don't think an order of uh, devoted monk-like knights would uh, be so coarse. Okay. All right. All right. Now I'll I'll, re I'll retcon. He says, Maiden. and she dumped the beans on the floor. <laughs> All of the beans gone. I worked very hard on those beans. That's all I can make. And it wasn't good enough for her. And the other one, uh, another one chimes in and says, Women, my friend, they, they are a strange beast, difficult to read. Some, perhaps, desire more than beans. <laughs> and, uh, and the Looks other like one says, the other one says, In my experience, I agree, women don't like beans. They what? just don't like beans. <laughs> okay. And the, the first one says, What else am I supposed to do when she asks for a meal? I'm not a chef. I'm I'm a, 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 a knight of the silver flame. I have nothing else to offer. But I don't want to lose her. Well, have you considered making something else with the beans that she might not realize they're actually beans? What? <laughs> How so? Well, have you ever tried mashing the beans? Mashing the beans? <laughs> mashing the beans, yes. What would that do? Wouldn't they still taste like beans? Well, friend, in my experience, nine-tenths of flavor comes from the mouthfeel. So if you remove the bean-like texture, 
and create something different, it really makes a big difference. And uh, the voices start to get a little bit quieter as they begin to pass by. And the last thing you hear is, so I mash the beans, and what then? And then the voices get a little too quiet to hear. Wow. Kill these people, I'm going to give them Incredible. culinary advice. Uh, well, I think they're past over. Give it a couple more minutes. All right. So, um, I decided that there would be four options. One was beans. Uh, two was something else that just wasn't important. Uh, three would be a small amount of relevant information, and four would be a decent amount of relevant information. And I rolled a one, so you got the beans. <laughs> don't don't dangle that in front of us. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> You got the beans. Yeah. Aren't you happy? I am a little happy. Yeah. Yeah. That's a well spent charge of the scuddy, scuttle buddy. Yeah. Yeah, you you should be. Well, how long is it out yeah. for? I don't remember. <laughs> DM, how long does the scuttle buddy uh, last? The scuttle buddy lasts for 12 hours. One hour. Fuck you. One hour. <laughs> Just keep them in your palm and uh, don't put them away. <laughs> All right. Put it um, on your shoulder, like my little yeah, crab friend. friend. You call back. Yeah, so uh, that's right. Have you met Thought's little crab friend? I don't think so. Thought has a familiar. Yeah. A little a, crab? Yeah, there's a tiny little crab that hangs out with me. We are magically connected. Because he rolled super high on an deep. arcana? Didn't you didn't you roll like three nat twenties in a row or something like that? Maybe we have to watch the video. But no, it was it was three like really really incredibly high rolls, and I want to say at least two nat twenties on Probably. Arcana checks to bond with this crab. So yeah, I uh, I was so taken aback by the uh, nat twenties in the situation that I that I, I decided that. You are now bonded. Yep. Magically. Mm-hmm. You have to check the video later. But yeah, so Thought has a a permanent uh, tiny crab familiar. <laughs> um, they cannot speak, and uh, he cannot see through its eyes, but if he tries, he can get vibes from the crab. He can do a vibe check. Yeah and see how the crab is feeling in that particular moment. Yes. And its name is Merglocker. That's right. Merglocker. Okay. Nice. Yeah, I just looked up, uh, like, names of Merlocks, basically. <laughs> oh, nice. And I just I assumed one. that it was... I, I just assumed that you took the word Merloc and you made it slightly different. Oh, no, I, I literally looked up, like... I see. Merlock names. <laughs> I got that. Okay. Song. Very cool. All right. Um, Whit Whitmore knows that they have passed by. Uh, you can run out there and collect your thing. And actually, it can fly back to you if you want. It can oh, fly. I'll do that. Yeah, please have um, it do that. It's much cooler. And it comes back. And it's going to stick around for another 50 minutes or so. Um... So let me know if you want to do something with it in the next 50 minutes. Um, but you are still roughly an hour and a half outside the docks, you think, Whitmore? I'll so. look at it, like, kind of in full view, everyone. I'll look at the scuttle buddy on my shoulder and just be like, those people didn't know anything about culinary expertise whatsoever, did they? <laughs> no, they didn't. And you oh. hear your voice in your ear. <laughs> oh, that's <just> awkward. <laughs> oh, this is like medieval, like, slapback echo. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, I said an hour and a half outside. I think more like maybe, maybe 45 minutes outside because you've been walking for a little while already. Okay. Outside of the town proper. So 
you'll be coming up on the docks pretty soon. Um, when do you want to start heading toward water? Uh, what do you mean? Shouldn't the road just go to the docks? Uh, the road goes straight into the city. Oh, well, shit, I don't know. I don't know where this dock is. Exactly. Whitmore knows. Whitmore does. Yeah, I'll, basically, well, I think we just want to go on the dock, or on the, uh, sorry, on the, uh, road for as long as we can, and then just, like, go Go straight straight down. Okay. And that saves you time, too. So you... Uh, followed the road along, and you don't see any further uh, silver flame. Uh, you see zero town guards out here. Absolutely zero. Uh, and eventually Whitmore recognizes um, the sound of uh, docks, and uh, you head south, and you will eventually reach the dock. So, let's go to the docks. Okay. Boom. <gasps> so this is the general vibe. Um, there are a lot of smaller boats, clearly a lot of people here making their living or making, like, actual, just literally making a living for themselves by catching fish and eating the fish. Um, there are a few more dilapidated docks that are larger, and you can see some larger boats that are docked there. Uh, and Whitmore would know that uh, uh, Helga Mansplitter is no uh, fishing boat captain. She is a captain of a, a proper vessel. Oh. So he would know to head toward a larger dock. Um, but is there anything else you would like to do as you enter this dock area? Or are you just beelining trying to find yourself a man splitter see if there's any silver flame docks themselves or like patrolling the small little external town area Hmm. yeah um why don't you roll a perception check perception holy shit Uh, yeah um you do not see that telltale glint of silver armor in fact, it doesn't look like anyone here is remotely shiny. Everyone here Except is at me. least oh, Yeah. Everyone here is at least a little bit dirty. I mean I'm a little Grungy. bit dirty too, but yeah. I am shiny and chrome. Oh ho. Also, I would like to telekinetically uh explode a seagull, but I thought would not attempt to do that, so yeah. It is bad luck to kill a seabird. <laughs> okay. Oh. Bad nightmare. Sorry. Uh, <clears throat> uh, you know, I could go for um, a snack, honestly. <gasps> I'm going to okay. do perception check for any, like, just fish merchants. Ideally prepared fish, but... Mm-hmm. Alright, you can look for some uh, uh, fish stand. You know what I want right now? What? I really want s- some of those clams that we had before in Nomehode. Mm. That little oh, just... Remember. Yeah, there's just like a little bowl table clams Uh, and i just ate all of them because i was starving (laughs) um yeah what you find um it's not near the docks themselves it's not near the the shore uh but you smell fish cooking and so you follow your nose um a little bit away from the water and you see um a uh, it is a young girl, um, maybe uh, 15 or so, and she has a little, like, pot stove. Like, it's just a, a very small, like, ceramic pot stove with some lit coals, and uh, she has uh, some clams that are sitting over the fire cooking. 
Uh, and as you approach, she looks very surprised. Uh, and she immediately stands up and starts shouting, Clams! 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 Are you hungry? I got... There's clams and there's, um... Right... Dad's not back. It's just clams. Um, <laughs> it's just clams right now. Oh my but, God. um... Um, it's five, it's, it's, uh, it's, let's, uh, um, one copper for five clams. One copper for five clams, and, um, and if you get ten clams, it's, um, no, no, not ten, um, twelve clams for two coppers. Copper pieces. <laughs> Damn. I'm sorry, we don't get a lot of guests. Dan, how how many coppers is in a gold piece? A lot. <laughs> okay. Like a hundred, right? Yeah, like a yeah. hundred. It's ten coppers to a silver, ten silvers to a gold. Okay. Let me do some math so, and break so it's out. So it's one hundred coppers to a gold. Yes. Because I have thirteen we... gold pieces, but I want to get some clams here. So, like. It's gonna like, well, I mean, like, yeah, I'm gonna make change. She will not have the change for it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. on. Everyone, Um, hold on. Bag of holding. (laughs) Bag of holding has. Bag of holding has. It's got some silvers, right? Copper pieces. I think we are fine. (laughs) Okay. What? What is it? Like, why don't we like? How? Like, I feel like a silver would get us plenty of clams for us all to munch. Thought. Oh yeah. Thought is already gonna do something as soon as I. As soon as I find out what's in the bag, okay? Okay. So, what's can, right, sure. could you say that again, please? Yep. Okay. 2,300 copper pieces. Uh-huh. 634 silver pieces. Uh-huh. 273 gold pieces. Okay. So, he's just going to walk up to her and give her a gold piece. And from his own, from his pocket... And, uh, and, uh, say he would like, I don't know. How big are these clams? They're pretty small. And how many do you think are actually in the pot? How many do I think are in the pot? I mean, right now, it's, uh, there's not a lot on there right now. Okay. So he's going to go up. Um... Sorry to uh, deplete your supply, but uh, I hope this makes up for it. And he hands her the copper piece, or the gold piece. Um, like you hold out uh, the gold piece, and she, her jaw drops, and she looks at it, and she looks up at you, and she starts to reach for it, and her eyes start to water, and then she stops, and she pulls her hand back, and she looks at you and narrows her eyes and says, What's the catch? Uh, I'm not. I'm not for sale. Uh, the, the, it's the clams. It's me. It's not me. I'm not for sale. I. Well, I don't understand what you he's, mean. He's somewhere around here. Uh, oh, look, the the catch is that I you won't have any more clams to sell. I guess. We have more clams. You do. Oh, there's well. More, there's more clams. Uh. uh Look, just um I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna step in and say my friend is very hungry. Uh, he won't have any more clams to sell. Right. Uh, and I just I feel bad for taking all of the clams, so so that's all. Just uh I I just want to eat some clams. That's all I am interested in. Thank you. He's I'm like, going to kind he's of so uh, awkward right now. He doesn't know I'm what going to, to do. kind of uh <laughs> uh kind of huddle around what, what can I say? Like if she's behind the pot and Nefmir not Nefmir and Thought is on the other side of the pot, like that's cooking the clams. I wanna stand like kind of in between, like on the side, so other people aren't seeing Thought just hand a little girl a gold piece in a very obviously dilapidated area. Because she's going to get mugged as soon as we are gone. So and I'm trying to block think of that, by the way. Bit. Um, yeah, is there also, a surface? Like, we're trying to, 
a also, table we're surface. trying to keep a low profile, and then he does this shit with the <laughs> He doesn't. He's yeah, not so... thinking of it. <laughs> so I am. I'm. I'm trying to block view with your of. I'm trying to block view of some people with my positioning, but like in a natural way. Okay. Okay. And is there is there um, a table surface in front of yes. me? Yes. Uh, he just puts sure. the piece onto the table. Since um, she didn't take it. So she's still confused and she is just kind of looking between you and the gold piece and her uh her all i can think of is the japanese for it it's a clay clay stove um, <laughs> just say it in japanese shichirin okay and uh and she uh looks up again and says are you buying the stove no i i just want the clamps it's the st- we. I mean, I don't know. I'd have to ask my mom about the stove. I don't need the stove. I assure I you, I don't need the stove. Don't think it's worth the gold, though. That's okay. Um, I don't, don't understand. Don't worry about it. I guess. I don't. I mean, if you don't want it, I, I'll. I suppose I'll take it back. But what's but the catch? There, there isn't one. I assure you. She kind of I, I just want to give out. all of my friends as many clams as they want, basically. That's how all. many clams do you want? I turn and look at everyone. How big are these clams? And small, holding my hands out, like at 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 my sides, like eh. The, the clams are like this big. Who wants clams? <laughs> I'm going to walk past Thought, give him a wink and a pat on the shoulder, and I'm going to kneel down to this this girl and um She's 15, gonna, like, so you won't have to kneel very far. Well, oh, okay, sorry. I thought she was sitting. Oh, okay. she is. All right, never mind. Uh, and I I'm going to be like uh be like Valuable things appear in interesting places, and I kind of do uh, like a palm. I, I'm going to attempt like a palming magic trick where I like put my hand over the the gold coin and turn it into a like a procure a silver from my you know pack and like basically change it into a silver. Okay. Like. With like a you know a, a sleight of, of hand sort of illusion, yeah. you can roll sleight and, of hand for that. And I would also like, in doing so, uh, like from some sort of reaction, try to basically pickpocket the uh, gold into her pocket, in, <gasps> yeah. like without her noticing. Sounds good. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and roll sleight of hand. God, I hope this works. I'm gonna, uh, we'll do this. She's got no modifiers, but she rolled a 15. Oh, come on. So she sees, what she sees is a, a vaguely smooth palming of the gold and replacing it with the silver. You do it, but she kind of watches you do it and knows, uh, that you've taken it. And uh, just kind of, her eyes kind of drop, and she just kind of watches the gold go away and goes, "Oh, yeah." <laughs> that she noticed that I get, that I that I've given it to her. Did he I'm going to make that a separate one. Okay. I'm going to say that's a separate roll. Okay, I, I will attempt that then. <laughs> Please make it. Come on. <laughs> what? Same yeah, roll. Yeah, yeah. So does she have to roll again? Uh, yeah, she'll uh, roll again here. So, uh, she, seven, it's like. she watches uh, you sort of like, you know, it's not the worst palming of the, it's not the old, it's not the worst switcheroo that you've ever done, uh, but it's not the smoothest either. She just, 
she was keeping an eye on that gold because she was really interested in that gold. And she sure. watches it sort of disappear into your hand as she watches it go. And then she looks back at the silver that you left and just kind of sighs. And while she's looking at the silver and sighing, you manage to uh, slip this into her clothes somewhere. <laughs> Okay. Where are you putting this thing? Well, we'll say she has a pocket in a there pocket. somewhere. She's got a pocket. Um, yeah. It's it's kind of a, a cold morning. She's got this little kind of jacket thing on, and you slip it into her pocket. Yeah. And uh, she does not notice you do that, because she is just kind of looking at the silver on the table and looking depressed now. <laughs> so now... I'll, uh, I'll knock my fist on the table and say, well, just keep looking. Good things turn up here and there. I'll walk away from the table. She just kind of watches him go and looks back at Bot and looks very confused. <laughs> so how much is the silver now in coppers? Ten. Ten, okay. You can buy up all of her all of her clams. Um so with the silver. Since the sil well, well, no, because, oh, wait, you're right, because it was two copper for 12. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you can buy up all the clams that she's got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so anyway, he, um, ah, there's, there. I know what I want to say. I have to think of how he says it. So in the meantime, um, he says the thing, and then he turns back and looks to everyone because... Like, you know, uh, so are you going to, how many clams you want? Get your damn clams already. Basically. Clam. So if anybody's eating clams, declare it now, please. <laughs> eating clams. Yeah, I don't want clams. Sure. Lily will eat as many clams as she's allowed. Okay, that is going to want to have four clams, I will say. So he will eat them. Four? Um, yeah, I think so. They're tiny. I was going to say Lena's going to eat like 10 or 15. He wants a little <laughs> snack. He's, he's you know, he's not super hungry. Uh, fair enough. They're not that small. Uh, maybe he'll eat five of them. Whatever. Okay. Um, Jeez. Because I'm, I'm, I'm th trying to think of what to call Whitmore. Because <laughs> I don't want to outright call him a thief. Because he isn't. But, like, I don't know. I, I don't know what to okay. say to this girl, and he's he's awkward. He doesn't know. He doesn't say anything. Yeah. You you just uh, she looks up at at you in a confused way, and you look down at her and go, I don't know. No, he wouldn't do that. Okay. Uh, but she she uh you know piles you know clams onto the the little stove and cooks them up and hands them out, and she takes that silver and. Uh, you know, she was depressed about the gold going away, but now that she's holding the silver, she, uh, you see, like, this little glint in her eye, and she seems very excited to be holding a silver. Nice. He's happy. Oh, also, did he notice Whitmore put it into her pocket? Roll a perception check. No, that's definitely at a disadvantage, because he's only It sure is. Eye, even though he's standing right next to him. Mm-hmm. And Maybe it's, it's his, on it's his the right side eye. Of your head eye. That's that was stabbed yeah. out. Yeah. So mm -hmm. Whitmore would be on, I'm assuming, the left side of him. I don't know. Why don't you roll a perception check and find out? A regular one or a disadvantage one? Disadvantage. Fuck you. Oh whoa. Okay. What the f okay. Apparently 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 he was on your good side. He was so... on the left side of me. Yeah. He watched, uh, you, you saw him do it, for sure. Oh, I did. Okay. Well, yeah, I, I'm still overall pleased with this encounter. <laughs> Good. Yeah. I mean, he okay. is, you know, he's coming away from this feeling okay about it. So you making any small talk with this girl while she's awkwardly cooking clams for you? Not or me, you? obviously. I'm sorry my friends are so weird. What's your name? Uh, she looks up at Lena and smiles softly and says, uh, uh... <laughs> 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 I wanted 
say. <laughs> my my brain said Jerry, and my and then I followed up by saying, no, not Jerry, Jerry, no, not Jerry. <laughs> Just make it Jerry. It's fine. It's That's Jerry. Her name. He says, uh, uh, my my name is Geraldine, but my friends call me Jerry. Oh, come on. You sh she should have just said Jerry straight up. Like, who cares? That's her name. This is a weird Can world. I she says, she says J Jerry. <laughs> there we go. I mean, I mean, Gerald, Geraldine, friends call me Jerry. You don't have to call me Jerry. Do you want me to call you Jerry? No. Okay, so Geraldine. It's sort of a mean thing. Oh, no. I'm it's sorry. Fine. It's fine. All right, Geraldine, these clams are delicious. You just get them here in the water? Well, don't don't tell anyone, but there's a good place for clams. Oh. Don't tell us. I can't tell you. I can't tell you where it is. Please no, don't. That's okay. I don't want I'm to not, know. I'm not sticking around long. I uh it would not be useful information for me. Um these are great though. You did a good job cooking them. She smiles and says, "Thank, thank you. Um, are are you, are you, um, dock people? Are you going on the dock? Are you, are you working here now? Oh, we're just passing through. Oh, okay. Thought um examines his self a little bit, thinking." Do I really look like a dock worker? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ger um, hey, Geraldine. Um, we saw some uh people in really shiny armor on the way here. You get people like that a lot around here. Um, she sort of grimaces a little and says, "You the the silver flame." Oh, is that what they are? Yeah. Um, they're new. Don't seem happy to have them. Um, she just kind of shrugs and says, I mean, we're, we're, we're fishers, but there's some other people here that do different work. Mm-hmm. Um, and they don't like them being around. Mm, I see. Well, with the uh, armor as fancy as that, they are probably a little stuck up. Well, they... I... I... They don't seem mean. They're very serious. Um... I can't really tell you much. Um, they don't... They're looking for someone, so they come here most every day, and it makes things difficult for people. Uh. Well, at least they're not mean, I suppose. Not to me. Oh. Well, lucky you then, I guess. Sure. Army too. What was that? <laughs> Did he say I'm, there... I'm mean? No, is there anyone that the Silver Flame is mean to? Oh, oh I didn't hear that. Um, well, there are some people that aren't very respectful I guess they kind of talk back to them and they don't like that um I mean she's a good person though she just doesn't really like um uh, authority authority is what she said she doesn't like she doesn't like authorities. Neither do I. Well.
Well, thanks uh, for the clams. Bye. <laughs> and we leave the scene because it was dragging out. Yeah. And it's good. Um, she she waves goodbye, and you start heading down to the dock. And uh, as you get further away, you suddenly hear, Mom! <laughs> Excellent. That's it? Just so, mom? Uh, yeah. She, like, yells yeah, mom. I don't think she's gonna shout, Well, I found a gold piece to everyone. Hey, I wasn't... No, that's not what I'm saying. Just, you know. Okay. Smart girl. Yeah, the, the camera uh, pans back, and you see her, like, rubbing her hands together because it's cold, and she puts her hands in her pockets and looks confused. And then the camera uh, cuts back to you guys, and you hear the mom. Okay. <laughs> uh, so you heading toward the big boats? Yes. Okay. Yep. Uh, you. Uh, let's see. Uh, Whitmore, you can find the boat that you know to be. Uh, Helga Mansplitter's boat. Um, because How well do I know this woman? You don't know her. her. No, okay. you have not met her. Uh, but All you right. know, you know about her, and you know that her boat is called the Big Chungus. <laughs> okay. Her boat is called the Big Chungus. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> her boat's called the Big Chungus. Yeah. And it is. Um. Uh, it's okay. called the Big Chungus, and it's really easy to find because it's written in big uh, red letters along the bow. Uh, and it, it's not just Big Chungus, it's THE Big Chungus. The, 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 the is written there as well. Uh -huh. And it's in a very, um, what, elegant script font. Wow. Um... Uh, and as you get closer, see. as you get closer to it, you can see, um, several figures on the boat, um, kind of, you know, getting stuff done and, uh, standing on the bow of the ship, you see, uh, an older, a, a pretty, a fairly old woman, uh, in very impressive attire. And you stand there and you admire her. I do. And you, you all just stand there silently and stare at her. Well, I don't yeah, know I what to do. Right? I guess. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just here. Do you guys think that's her? That's probably her, right? Uh, certainly looks the part. So what do we do? Do we just call up to her? What's the protocol here? Um, is that does um? Oh shoot! What's the guy's name that has gave us this in? Uh, Beaumont. Beaumont. Does he have any any sort of like symbol or crest? Um. Let's say that he does. Do, do I have this symbol or crest upon, on me since I've worked with him? Um, I know, you tell me. <laughs> Are you holding on to something that identifies you as a co-conspirator of a uh, an under, underworld criminal? Well, only insofar that it would help me get around. <laughs> okay. How about, let's say it's, uh, do you know, uh, Thieves Cant? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Thieves Cant would be useful, because that's, like, hand signs and markings oh, and stuff like that, right? Good point. Uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll walk up onto the docks. Kind of inconspicuously lean up against one of the the posts and uh, 
message and thieves can't um, towards this woman uh, that uh, Beaumont's guests arrived. Uh, you're you're trying to catch the attention of the lady or just someone on the boat? Uh, the lady. Okay. Um, she's actually looking down at you all as you arrive, and uh, as you very casually and smoothly attempt to uh, pass this message along, uh, she suddenly shouts, Hey, you luck! Get your asses onto the boat! We're running behind! Um, uh, sorry about that. Uh, we had to avoid the road. Lena shuffles onto the boat. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just, like, scurry onto the boat. Yeah. Uh, she walks up and sort of, uh, takes you all in and sniffs and says, well, actually, let's see. She sniffs. <laughs> she says, you were eating seafood. Uh, um. Do you know what time it is? I'm, uh, I'm terribly sorry. What time were we supposed to meet? Do you know? Do I know? Um, Beaumont said early morning. Okay. <laughs> Do you know how long I've been waiting and how long you set me back? I wouldn't be here if it weren't for what I, I if it weren't for uh my what am I trying to say? If it weren't for Beaumont. <sighs> well, stop standing around. Let's go. And she pushes you further onto the boat, and she starts like sort of like whipping her hand around, saying like, "Wrap it up. We're shipping out." Okay. And all of the uh, the crew start running around and, and doing crew things to get the boat going. Uh, and uh, the boat starts to set off. And uh, she says, all right, so you know what's happening? No. She, she kind of raises her eyebrows at that and looks at everybody else. <clears throat> um... Beaumont was very discreet. Yeah, sounds like Beaumont. All right. You know who I am? Man splitter. Yes, yes, presumably. Uh, she grins a little bit. All right, then we're good. I'm Helga. This is my boat, the Big Chungus. These are my boys. And uh, I'm getting you into the city today. And if you listen to me, everything's going to go just fine. We good? Yes, ma'am. Good. The rest of you? Yes. Uh, sounds good. very good yes, to me. Yes, ma'am, or yes, captain, will do. Yeah, yes, captain. Captain. Nefmir doesn't say anything. Is Nefmir there? I'm here. Okay. Does Nefri say yes, Captain? Yes, Captain. Okay. She kind of narrows her eyes at, at Nefmir coming in slow and late and says, I got my eye on you. All right. So here's the deal. And uh, you are now well into the water and you are you can see the, the city. You are not far from the city. She says, so... We're going to go out into the water a ways, out into the sea a ways, just to make it seem like we're coming in from the sea, and we're obviously not coming in from the dock. In that time, we're going to put you in barrels. We're going to cover you in fish. And we're going to mark those barrels with red wax, because we got to deal with the dock workers. They got to check the, the boats, the shipments that are coming in, but they know not to check the barrels with the red wax. So... Any questions? Um, is there... Is there any way for us to not be covered in fish? You can swim. Uh, uh, okay. Good fucking luck, plate mail. <laughs> uh, uh-huh, fish it is, then. Fish it is. It'll be fun, thought. Just think. It will not be fun. 
You'll smell like fish for days. You will smell like fish for days. Apparently we already smell like fish. You do smell like fish, but good kind. You're gonna smell like the bad kind. Um, ma'am, I have a question. Yes, little nosy one. Uh, how, uh, approximately how long can we expect to be in the barrels? That depends on Beaumont's people, how fast they come pick you up. Got it. If something goes wrong, what should we do? Fucking run. Okay. I don't know. That's up to you. I just right. get you in there. Sounds good. I ain't paid to babysit, all right? Oh, uh, okay, Captain. Are we good? Yes, yes ma'am. All right, let's get you acquainted with your barrels. Oh, goody. Um, she, uh, you know, she kind of calls over some guys and tells them to go fetch the barrels, and they go run uh, down into the hold, and they uh, bring up some barrels. So, get in. <laughs> Lena hops in. You're not going to get fished yet. We're going to wait on the fish just to give you a little breathing room for a while, but we got to make sure the barrels work. Get in the barrel. Yeah. Get in the barrel. Oh, God. Oh, no. The barrel. Yeah, nothing here got in the barrel. <laughs> I forgot about the barrel. <laughs> oh, we're going to have some good fun with this barrel. <sighs> Do y'all uh, remember the barrel now? Yes, that's why I said it. Okay. I See, do. I wasn't quite sure. And if the you liquid remembered. function junction. <laughs> the LFJ is separate from the barrel. It's the really barrel. Good. <laughs> All right. So, um, you each have a barrel just for you. Whoops. What did I? I think this is my barrel. It was made for me. Yes, correct. I think I made a mistake. Yep. Hold on a second. One moment, please. Actually, you know what? I could use a bathroom break as we all get into barrels. Could ya? Yeah. How all about right. you guys? You, you wanna, you wanna... Yeah. I could use, I a, could use a quick bathroom getting break. some okay. food to eat break. So okay. I'll we'll do a, a, a multi break. Sure. Yeah, yeah you could call Play it. Play the multi break okay. music. There isn't any, actually. Did you know? Here it comes the new so. multi break song. And go. It's just going to be me saying, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> but it'll be auto-tuned into a new multi-break song. I'll think about it. And go. <laughs> <laughs> 